are you doing? Just checking out my financial portfolio from this uh, past weekend, seeing how I did. Do you do anything with finances? Uh, no, I don't. What do you do? I work with Chris Kikoras and the guys over at U Financial. They have been instrumental in helping me set up a financial plan going forward. And as a barber, I'm responsible for my own retirement. So they've helped me set that up. They do wealth management, investment, uh, employee retention. Mm -hmm. And what's what's nice is I trust them with my finances because all of their investors are MML certified. Really? Yeah. Do they work with like college students? <clears throat> they do, in fact, work with college students. It would actually be really good for you to sit down with one because they could help you set forth a financial plan so that you're not strapped with mountains of debt after college. Right. How could I like contact them? Well, here I've got their I've got their got their website right here. Um, ufinancialgroup.com. They're actually based right here in Mechanicsburg. Super easy to locate. Um, Hello? Hi, this is Lonnie from CBS 21 News. I'm looking for Mr. Tate the Barber and Mr. William Lee. This is Tate. Uh, I'm actually expecting Will any second now. Uh, what's this in regards to? Well, we wanted to see if you would be interested in therapy sessions being featured in our segment called Proudly Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's, like I said, he's going to be here any second. Um, can we give you guys a call back when he arrives? Sure. We'd like to do the interview this week. If we could do it today, that would be even better. Yeah, actually, hold on one second. I think he just showed up. Yo, Will, CBS 21 wants us to be on the news. Hold on real quick. What? CBS 21 wants you and me to talk about Cherpy on the news. What well, you want me to tell him? Tell him, fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, we'll be on the news. All right, we'll see you guys later. What? So they saw Cherpy and they want to feature us on a segment called Probably Pennsylvania because they're really excited about what we're doing. That's crazy. I know. So, so did it just call out the blue? Well, the one reporter called me. Uh, is there a chance we can turn this into an episode of Cherubi? Absolutely. T-A-T-E-Y-O-H-E. -E. I'm William Lee, um, a photographer, videographer, filmmaker. And so what made you want to become a barber? Well, uh, to be honest, I worked in EMS for, for 13 years, 14 years this year, and uh, I was ready for a change. Um, and barber school seemed like a great idea at the time, so I just went to barber school. So tell, so tell me about your charity okay. studies. So, um, I got this idea in my head um, to film the people that come into the shop because you see behind me the patches on the wall, they're all put there by people who get their hair cut here. So I thought wouldn't it be a neat concept to bring them in for a haircut and talk about their careers and their lives and, and catch it on film and see if we could do something with it. Um, and then I met Will here, uh, we just crossed paths and I pitched my idea to him and instantly he was like, yeah, I'm on board, let's do this, let's make it happen. For many, getting your hair done can be therapeutic. And in this week's Proudly PA, Jesse McDonough introduces us to a barber who takes his clients' therapy sessions to a whole new level. Well, I came up to go to college at Hack for my fire science degree. Master barber Tate Yoy says when people sit in his barber chair, it isn't just about getting a haircut. Yeah, there's, there's something magical that happens when a, when a guy sits in that chair, in, in my chair specifically. They just open up and start talking about everything and everything. Knowing the relationship between a barber and his client and the conversation, the trust that's involved, um, it's, a, it's, it's a therapy session. Yoy felt so privileged to hear his client's stories, he asked them if he could share them. And with the help of his talented cinematographer, William Lee, Cherapy Sessions was born. So they threw two ladders. They went in, um, you can see them go in, they're searching, they're only in there for probably 20 to 30 seconds and the, the front bedroom flashed. The YouTube channel features Yoy's client stories, many of which are from veterans. Like our first episode um, with Christina, she's an 18 year vet in the army. 
and to hear her story as a woman who is 18 years in the Army um, through deployments. Chair P. Sessions was shot pre-COVID. Joy says when the pandemic hit, it encouraged he and Lee to push forward with their project and release the episodes. So putting those out during the COVID lockdown, people needed something to watch and to engage in. Chair P. Sessions has taken off. Joy himself has amassed over 17,000 Instagram followers. And U Financial even sponsored the show for 10 episodes. Yoy says the YouTube show wouldn't be so successful if it wasn't for the stories that come out of Coleman Scissors Barbershop. The vet-based barbershop has been in business in Mechanicsburg for more than 50 years. So we've, we've shot five episodes so far. Um, we've done a military episode, a firefighter episode, police episode, paramedic episode, and a dispatcher episode. So all around the, the emergency services community. My name is Lonnie Rooney and I am a photojournalist with CBS 21 News in Harrisburg. Yeah, I think there are a lot of narratives that just slip through the cracks mm -hmm. over time. And I think that telling stories and being disruptive is just the most important part, especially in TV news. Mm -hmm. um, like we want to, you know, capture the narratives that are going to be like, I don't really like the sound of that, but it's definitely true. Or like, you know, there's so I, I appreciate, you know, what you guys are doing with Cherubi because, you know, there's just the stories just need to be told. Yeah. There's lots of positive and negative things that, that people have experienced that can actually, you know, help people learn mm -hmm. and, you know, help them understand the human experience better and the human connection. Mm -hmm.